Hello everyone, my name is Tyler with Prentice Works and Microsoft. Today I'll be bringing you a high-level introduction into the sales hub inside of Dynamics 365. The intended audience for this presentation would include individuals who are brand new to Dynamics 365 or just starting to use Dynamics 365. Also, organizations who are currently using the Microsoft 365 suite we'll find that Dynamics has strong integrations with solutions we use every day like Outlook, Teams, SharePoint, along with other Microsoft solutions. The purpose of this video will be to go over the very basics of the critical entities within the sales module. We'll be going over the account, contact, lead, and opportunity entities. As you may already know, there is much more out of the box functionality beyond these entities, but they do represent the main pillars upon which the sales module lies. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to the demonstration portion of this video. Let's go ahead and begin with the first entity, accounts. Think of accounts as the companies or vendors that you work with. This is the top level record which you can use to track valuable data for existing customers, such as account name, phone number, website, as well as the address that even pulls up automatically within Bing Maps if you already have that plugin. Over on this side, we can view the primary contact and any other contacts associated with that account. We can even add new contacts on the fly using the quick create option. Over here on the timeline stream, we have the ability to track communications of all types, like emails from Outlook, meetings, phone calls, and tasks. These activities are organized chronologically and are a mix of both completed tasks as well as pending tasks. Notice the file tab here near the top as well. This is where you can store files of all types, whether they be Word documents, Excel documents, PDFs, scans and images. You can store them right here in this location. Two other types of records that we'll be going over in this video are contacts and opportunities. Contacts are the individuals that work within the given account, where opportunities are the specific sales engagements that have either taken place in the past or are currently open. With the view selector, I can choose which context I want to see. In the current view, my active contacts, I can see all the contacts for which I'm the owner to. Think of this as your personal phone book. I can also select active contacts. And what this is going to do is going to show me all contacts within the entire system. Here you can track not only information tied to this contact, but any relationship with a company account or other related accounts as well. Over here under related, we can track recent sales opportunities that a contact may have been the primary contact for. And again, if you have the service module, you can also track recent cases for which they were the primary contact for as well. Next, I'd like to show you how you can use Dynamics 365 to manage your sales pipeline. I'm going to navigate back to my homepage for just a second, which is a dashboard of all my sales activity. Within this dashboard, I can see things such as my open opportunities, my open leads, my opportunities in a different format. Perhaps I have my top customers, a sales pipeline, and other sources here, my activities, and all these are configurable and tiles that can be moved around to locations on the dashboard where you want them. You've also got several dashboards straight out, out of the box. So what I'm going to talk about next are the specific records that make up the sales activity dashboard. 
and the key ones being leads and opportunities. Leads are essentially new prospects or inquiries. Leads can come from your inbox, an inbound phone line, perhaps a website form or a website chat, events and trade shows. And if that's the case, you can import data from an event by using import from Excel. Conversely, if you need to do a large scrub for a project, you can export to Excel, work the list outside of the system, then re-import it later, saving you time from tedious manual updates to your accounts, contacts, or lists. You can also define specific sales process qualification steps while using the business process flows. And these are simply steps that are easily configured to your business needs. Here, you will have the chance to qualify or disqualify a lead. Once a lead has been qualified, it becomes an opportunity and you can continue using the process flow to move it all the way to the closing stage and ordering, thus turning that prospect into a customer. The last order of business is to show you where you can access and create quotes. The way we're going to show you today is by accessing quotes inside of an account record. Once you're in an account, if you click Related, it will expose the collateral options such as quotes, orders, invoices, and items that will tie to your ERP system as well. Once you click Quote, you can filter those between Draft, Active, etc. But for our purposes, we're going to just click All Quotes, open one of them up, and you'll see the user interface for creating and saving quotes. Once you're done completing a quote and are ready to send to a contact, you'll go to the command bar at the top and select export to PDF. There, you'll have the ability to select a default template or a custom quote template to publish with. You may wanna download it but you can also email it directly to someone inside of Dynamics 365 via Outlook. I hope that gives you a high level overview of some of the capabilities available within Dynamics 365 sales module. Please visit our YouTube channel for more product overviews and even technical instructions. Thanks again for watching and if you'd like to know more, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Have a great day.